All right. So let's talk about this, right? All righty. All right. So I don't have a pussy, mm -hmm. right? But me watching this video <laughs> and him, and he's a cute guy. I'm, let's talk about that. Let's talk about he's a cute guy. I would love for him to be a, a urologist. <laughs> Really? Yes, I would love to put my nuts in his hands. Really? Yes, check these, <laughs> check these nuts out, nigga. Check out these nuts and hold these titties and tell me to cough <laughs> and see that you feel it is fucking thing. <laughs> hold these nuts, nigga. So, oh lord, me for me, as a, as a, as looking at it from a place, <laughs> I, <laughs> well, bro. I would. I would love for him to be a urologist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Why though, man? <laughs> Put these coconuts in your hand, nigga. And tell me what you feel. <sighs> so, what, Mo? Nothing. I just, I wasn't expecting that. All right. <laughs> well, I'm just a truth teller. You feel me? <sighs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's handsome. <sighs> right. Now, some of you freaky bitches will run your ass down there after he made his video <laughs> so he can stick your hands, <laughs> stick his hands all in your cool cat. But he's a surgeon. He's not He's not just the regular yeah. gynecologist. He's also, a, he's actually a surgeon, though. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's where it runs a little, uh, like, I, I, if I was him and I put a call to action out like this, and I was handsome like that because he's handsome. Uh -huh. And I would have put a call to action out like that. I would be afraid of the freaky bitches that's gonna come down there. Oh yeah. That's gonna sure. want that they're gonna that you may cause <laughs> you may want to stick your fingers and shit all down in the bitch pussy. And then next day, you know, this freaky bitch that went over here, and she don't you don't want to fuck. Now this bitch down here saying, Say you 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 done stuck your fingers in her. Right, right. I would like if I, if I was him, I, I wouldn't even made no video like that. But I, I get where he made it is because yeah, he, wants, he, he wants more clients. He wants to get more jobs. Yeah, but I wouldn't have made no video like that. You feel what I'm saying? Because it sounded like he, he was be like, damn, why y'all ain't bringing y'all pussy down here to me? Because that would have sound like. <laughs> well, that's really what he's saying. Right. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Why don't y'all bring y'all pussy down to me? I'll take care of Why you ain't bringing your pussy down here to me? <laughs> I, Cause that would it sound like there was I, so when I was reading the comment <laughs> for real, Mo. Come on, bring your pussy come down. on, bring your pussy on down here, the motherfucker. If I find out now, you get your pussy played there. You know what I'm saying? I'm the best surgeon down here. Ain't no man, ain't no other surgeon better than me. I, I, I cut the pussy over, I bust the pussy over, I look at the pussy, I sit in the pussy, I spread the pussy, I wash the pussy, I heal the pussy, I sew the pussy up, and I bring it right back. And to I you. bring it right back to you, free and clear. <laughs> you feel me? So looking at that. Looking uh, at that and looking at him, you know, uh, make that PSA, it uh, gave like, bring your pussy down here. It gave that. Uh, Please bring your pussy down here. Bring your pussy down here. Bring, <laughs> down, 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 bring your pussy down here. And so when I was watching, I actually went through the comments and I was reading lots of the comments and I see a lot of women saying, nah, like, I don't, like, I, this is why I prefer to have female, I prefer to have female um, uh, gynecologists. And stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I would, this I saw lots of comments in the comment section saying that they would they would prefer to have a female gynecologist because it, that made them cringe. And Did when the I, video made them cringe, or? like the way he was, it like made them cringe. It's just like because it, it definitely gave a call to action. Bring me your pussy. <laughs> Thank you, Nene. Thank you, Tammy Faye. <clears throat> okay, it because okay, ladies. So all my ladies down there, all of my ladies down there in the comment section, right? Just this not my department because well, I don't have not this this not my department. Well, some of them said that they've had a uh, male gynos and they were they were good, they were good gynecologists. They like I said I don't mind either. Men gynecologists are usually more gentle. Listen, I don't I I wish he was a urologist because I dare he would have made that PSA. I'd have dare sure took these nuts down there. <laughs> Put them right in his hand. Here baby. Tell me what you, you want me to call? <coughs> <laughs> 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 
But I, I get why there would be women that that are skeptical because I'm not going to front. I used to when I used to play sports. You know, you have to take them. Oh, listen, Nim, Nim, um, Nim. What? Hold on, because there's there's uh, this right here. No, go scroll Wait, this on. way, Mo. Just scroll this way. Go, because I'm re re go go go. Mo, we don't missed it because there are women. Nim, Nim, eleven twenty nine said he's a whole clown. His skits are not funny or professional. He is in the wrong profession for such clownery. Uh, okay, because social media can be a place that could be toxic. Mm -hmm. It is a place it could be toxic. And so you take a video like this, and then the man and the man is saying it's like, bring your pussy down here. You all y'all want to go over there? Y'all go over there and let them go touch you could cut your cut on your ass. And I saw women in the comment section saying, see, this is the type of nigga that I would never want to be under anesthesia with. Oh yeah, I've seen. I've I've watched some. Videos. I, I saw the. I saw videos. a lot of women in the comment section saying that they don't that like he's the type of gentleman that they would not want him to be under anesthesia because it's like I don't know what like you know. Now I would definitely want to be woke if he was a urologist. Look at these nuts. Look at these. Look at me. Look. Cause he's cute. He's a cute guy. Um. Oh, Zeus said my current go. Let's see what Zeus said. Zeus said my current Ghana is an old man. <laughs> See now, don't, that's the ones you gotta watch. To the old ones, really, man. She is an old man, lovely and so good at what he does. I've never thought of not seeing a man because he doesn't own what I own. Okay, got it. Okay, so you know that. Oh, okay, Zoo. So Zoo said, so Zoo, you saying it in a space like you don't want a, another woman touching your vagina because um, they have a vagina too. Hmm. My doctors are female. I've already told my story when I go get checkups and shit like that. Like how they how I, I, I spread my ass open, honey. I used to shoot when I used to play sports and I used to have to take physicals. It was only women that used to do my physicals. Well, of course you wouldn't mind that. You wouldn't mind. I, well, I wouldn't want a man touching my, my penis. See, I don't mind either way. Just make sure I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> if something wrong with these nuts, come on now. I, who, I, I prefer. They asked me. They would. If ask something me. wrong with these nuts, who gonna fix it? <laughs> I want the best motherfucker that can fix these nuts. If these, if something going on in my prostate, fucking up, I need the best person that's gonna go in there and fix my prostate. Well, I haven't had to take my prostate yet. You ain't forty. Yeah. That's how I feel. I want the best person who could stick their hand. It up with me and fix my prostate is so wrong. Really, Maddie? Yeah, woman or man. But stick your the hand up in you. Go in there, up. bitch. Go I don't in think there. it work like that. And man. I want to be looking at them doing it. <laughs> I want to be up. You feel anything? Look at what you see? <laughs> you feel anything? You see so? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Do you see anything? <laughs> Put it out. Let me look at what you pulled out. <laughs> So, I, you know, nah, he I, going, if I, when I if I get mine, we got to go on a date or something before he get prostate on me. You can't just stick your finger in my butt. So the man got to take you, get you something to eat. Yeah. Oh, nah, because I know how you it do after you eat. <laughs> Let a woman do it. <laughs> after you eat, you be out the shit. Let a woman go down there. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. You can't just go in there. You can't like <laughs> hell, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Uh, you want you want you to go, you want that nigga take you, get your son to eat? Yes. No. I we tell gotta, you. We gotta go out I'm on like, the sir, sir, <laughs> sir. Let my free go there. Give it, let the woman go. A woman ain't got to take me to get nothing to eat. You, you have a better outcome for the woman. Cause it's gonna be all kind of shit <laughs> on the gloves when you finish. Let that woman do that. I will let me warn you. Say, excuse me, y'all. Give my friend a woman. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> shit. Fuck that. Cause I know how you get that after you have a meal. <laughs> it like, it hold on. I, hold on. It wait depends a on what I eat, though. Hold on. on I hold on. I'm regular. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said please oh. have Mo read my super chat. Uh, oh, said, let me see. Oh, your super chat? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
You, Maddie, just went to Beyonce. Hold on. I oh. love you, Maddie. I did the Beyonce concert in D.C. And when your part came on, everybody was shouting, they black. That's right. I'm iconic. I'm iconic. You feel me? I shouldn't even be arguing with motherfucking hoes that ain't, that ain't, one, that ain't in my tax bracket, and two, that ain't even on my level, no matter how big or small or funky or sour or, or drunk they pussy is. We ain't the same. Right. Um... You say I wouldn't sexualize a doctor visit. It's kind of silly. Uh, okay, Greta, we got it. But we just joking here. We're having fun Thank over here you. on the show. That's we having a is. really good time over here on the show. This is what we do. We have this. We don't take this shit serious unless it's a read. We read. We seriously read. We read. <laughs> but all right, Emmanuel D. Carr said he seemed. Area, put this up there. Um, he seemed a bit predatory to me. Like we have the right to choose whoever we feel most comfortable with. He's too eager, and it seems creepy. Now I did gather that. That's why I was jokingly saying, you know, from the video, it, it gave very much so brain. You pussy down here. You got you gave you, you gave, big pussy, big pussy, big pussy, yellow pussy. I was watching Dust the Dumb. You were Dust the Dumb? Yo, yeah. He was like, <laughs> we got fat pussy, skinny pussy, Mexican pussy, Spanish pussy, fat pussy, green pussy, yellow pussy, pussy pussy. You, know I mean? you, you if you can't find pussy anywhere else, fuck it. <laughs> That's what it gave. <laughs> Let's look at the video just like one more time. Up. Okay, no problem. I got you. Just one more. Yo, I need help understanding why certain women will only go to female gynecologists, even when you need major surgery. So when you're looking for BBLs or liposuction, these same women will fly all over the country to find the best doctor with the best deals. They're looking for the best. Or if they're getting their hair done, makeup, eyelashes, you name it. It doesn't matter if it's a man, woman, whoever is the best, they're going to find them to get their hair done. It don't matter if it's a man. But if you need surgery on one of the most important things of your body and your future, it has to be a woman. That's kind of like me saying, hey, if I have an issue with my prostate, I only can go to a man because he has a penis and he has a prostate. Women don't have it. So I exclude all of the phenomenal women surgeons because I need a man. Somebody please make it make sense for me because I'll have women that'll DM me after their surgery to ask my opinion about their surgery that they had, right? But they won't never come to me because I'm a man. So please somebody make it make sense of why everything else doesn't matter about gender, but when it comes to surgery for your future and your body, that you are looking for the best woman possible. Not to say that there aren't some phenomenal women surgeons, but if you're looking for the best, you would just exclude it because it's a man. Drop comments in down below, help it make, make it make sense for me because I'm highly confused. It's called trust. It's called trust. <clears throat> trusting, trusting your doctor. I'm not trusting near one of my doctors on social media. If I see, if you a doctor man, I see you on social media posting and doing that type of stuff. I told y'all this before, like when we was just talking about that ick shit. Remember we had this discussion oh, yeah. about icks. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. these people talking about, oh, they, these are they icks in the hospital. The nurses. The, the nurses, nurses yeah, they yeah. icks and icks and all that shit. I, bitch, let me find out that you down there. I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> I don't want to go over there because of your icks. Right. So if I see a doctor online you know, like social media. I ain't doing all that. Nah. But then I will also say, like, is is he trying to say he's he's one of the best doctors? Yeah, that's what he's saying. He's the he's one of the best. Because okay, cause... he the pussy crook. <laughs> I mean, the pussy dog. But how do we know he's the best? Like, is there is there because maybe he maybe is there he... like a Yelp review that says, "Hey, this guy's phenomenal." It's probably some freaky bitches that be down there. Oh, he just put his fingers in me and touched me <laughs> on the inside part of me. But he might be the best. That's what I'm saying. Like, Somebody's put him examining. Ooh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This right here. This right here. <laughs> I already oh, got you. I got you. Oh. Your pussy! Hey, bring the camera, son. Bring the camera. All the young girls who want to make life with 
pussy. Your pussy will perish with you in hell. May your pussy perish with you. May your smooth pussy, creamy pussy, and tight pussy perish with you. Look at Tasha K. Husband. <laughs> Oh, that's Tasha K. Hood with his new job. After that, <laughs> after that bitch that ran him motherfucking all the way down to the to the pole house, he go serve it to a pastor. All of the young girls. It makes life. It makes life with messy. May your messy perish with you <laughs> in hell. <laughs> your smooth, tight, messy perish with you in hell. I don't know, ladies. This is this is something that you all have to have a conversation about. This is not my field. Had he been a urologist, I would have loved for him to be a urologist for <laughs> midwifery. And I had now, <laughs> now if he'd have gave any uh, uh, any phobic type of situation, I would have definitely be like, nah, <laughs> don't put me under no anesthesia. <laughs> I may wake up and my balls may be on the back of my ass crack. <laughs> When, and I ain't even put them there. But this motherfucker that feels some type of way and then put my balls on the back of my ass cheeks. <laughs> Hell nah. 